guys! Did you know that you can sew craft foam? After my last video, I got a couple of messages from people saying that instead of using contact cement on this center seam right here, they just stitched it with their sewing machine. So of course, I was thrilled. Here's the one I did, by the way. You can see the zigzag stitch. So I put it on my Instagram stories to tell you guys about it. And then I think by the next day, someone wrote in and said that they also put this nose wire onto the uh, frame using a zigzag stitch. Now the wire is on the outside and the inside is nice and smooth with just a little bit of stitching and it feels super comfortable. So I'm extremely excited about these two upgrades and I just want to take a quick minute and show you guys how to do this with your sewing machine because it's way easier than you might expect. Now before you stitch, make sure that you've already sealed your foam and textured it if you plan to do so. And you're also going to want to have these flaps already punched and glued down. We're going to be sewing the nose wire first. So you're going to get yourself your paper clip, open it up into a straight line, and then you're going to bend it into this nice little curve. The reason why is because it's just going to curve up a little bit to go with this curve. Quick note, because I keep forgetting this and it's important, whenever you feed your uh, foam frame through the machine, you want it to be face up. So if you've textured it as I have, that texture should always be facing up. The little ear flaps are down. The reason why is that the feet under the uh, foot, <laughs> I don't know anything about machines. Um, these little feet things, they leave tracks in the foam. It marks it permanently. Um, so you want that to be on you know, the inside. So just always, for both pieces, feed it through face up for the mask. Am I saying this right? <laughs> John looks confused. <laughs> so we're gonna start again with uh, sewing on the nose wire. So you're going to put it onto the front of your mask because we're sewing it on the front, the textured side. You're going to hold it there and then we're going to put it into the machine and zigzag over it. And then your paper clip needs to fit right in the slot on the, uh, the sewing foot. That'll help you keep it centered. So I'm sure you could hear that, but I backstitched both uh, both sides, both when I started and when I ended. I still need to trim the, uh, the threads off, but you can see how that looks there. Now that we have our lovely nose wire on, we're gonna go ahead and do the fun part, which is the center seam. We're going to start at this V. So we're gonna be putting the foot right there, right lining up, and then we're gonna be squeezing the two edges together and feeding it through. It will curve up as you go, which is fine. So let's do that. And there you have it. That's both stitches, one for the nose wire, one down the center seam. No glue, no mess. Love this so much. Uh, the only thing left to do is put in the eyelets, as I've done here, and then make your fabric covers, which go on top like this. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any comments or questions, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you don't have any idea what any of this is, if this is your first time seeing this form of mask, then go check out my last two videos and I will walk you through step-by-step step how to make both this foam frame and the fabric covers that go over it. So I hope that helps you guys. <music>